Hi, my name is Crystal Rock and this is Marigold. This is a love story and a sad story of Marigold's life. My parents bought Marigold maybe about 20 years ago and they didn't have a lot of money at the time. It was a large investment for them, but my dad was busy and he had his own company and he couldn't take vacations and this was the fun that they had every summer together. Marigold to me was some of maybe the happiest times that they had together. You know, they had matching bicycles and water guns and they would rent a campground site all summer long. They would come out here with the dogs and have campfires and listen to music and have a really nice time together. About six years ago, my dad, suffering with his addiction issues, um, my mom and him just couldn't be together in, anymore the way that they were going. They were going down a terrible path and they needed to make a change. So they split up, they um, sold all the assets. Marigold was sold to a close friend and he had Marigold, I think for about a year while Marigold was with this new owner. Uh, my dad took his own life and that was about coming up on five years now. Um, obviously a devastating loss for all of us. My mom decided to buy Marigold back from the family friend and she lived in Marigold for the summer after my dad passed away. Um, she's living a really happy life now. She's remarried. She's settled in. And my new stepdad, he doesn't really fit in Marigold. <laughs> my dad was pretty small to average sized man and my stepdad is a lot taller and is like bigger man. Um, so they bought themselves a new camper. And my mom decided that she wanted to sell Marigold. At the time that my mom decided to mar sell Marigold, I was going through um, a really rough breakup, probably the roughest of my life. I was in a really bad place and I couldn't really stomach the thought of my mom selling such a like lovely happy piece of the past. I really thought maybe Marigold could bring some magical healing happiness to me like it did for my mom after my dad had passed. I thought that could maybe be my turning point around. You know, focus on Marigold, restoring Marigold, having a happy, safe home for myself, something stable, something I can make my own. Not everything went as planned for me. Moving into a vintage motorhome full-time over the winter in Canada, even though I am in the warmest part of Canada, we still do get winter. Um, I spent a lot of time without running water and sometimes power this past winter. And that was really, really difficult. And Marigold being 42 years old needed basically brand new everything. I put about $7,000 Canadian into her just mechanically. And then I built the storage unit, I refinished the floors, I painted everywhere. I serviced the furnace, I serviced the hot water heater, my mom put in a new toilet and also serviced the fridge. She has a completely new inverter. It was a lot of things. I took out the old couch and built a new couch that I'm sitting on right now, which is also doubles as the table as well. I basically sunk in every penny that I had and didn't have into Marigold to make it work. <laughs> 
because I love her. To have to say goodbye to something that's been so important to me in my life. It was really hard. At this moment in time, Marigold has just passed her provincial inspection. So in Canada, if I wanted to move a vehicle from Alberta, which is where she's originally from, and bring it to BC, I would need to have it inspected so it can be insured and registered here. So that was a really happy moment for me. Finally, I cried happy tears as I drove her away as I wasn't really sure if she was going to pass. And I put just astronomical amounts of money and effort into making that happen. And this is, I guess, really the end of the road right now for me and Marigold as I'm going to have to sell her. Unless something magical happens and I start getting enough views to cover the costs to keep her, then that's really the end of the road for me and Marigold. And I hope that she will make somebody else's memories special. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down So high, trusting our wings to fly. Sometimes we're crashing down, but we get up and start from the ground. And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know if I will ever figure out where the road goes. Falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down
If I love all the ways the world puts me to the test If I embrace every fall Learn to grow and keep myself tall recommend that you do not make a white couch in your camper especially if you have a dog I used canvas and I really regretted it and I later recovered it and this is what happens if you throw sealer on top of sealer on top of sealer on top of sealer I think probably six layers here to scrape off all right we have come to the time where I clean the hatch Just for everyone's reference that is not mold it is green silicone which is also all over the roof and terrified me. All right, one full can. And that's how she turned out. None of the backside, but that was not the concern. So we'll get that immediate concern taken care of.